Hello everyone, this is uh, Get Sports Strong. You can check me out at uh, GetSportsStrong.com along with Get Sports Strong at Sports Watch Monitor and Bet Sports Strong with the B at Captain.com. So I'm here to talk about uh, Game 3 of the World Series tonight. I just wanted to make a quick video instead of um, writing an article um, and switch it up a little bit. And we're going to get right into um, Game 3. I just want to do a brief recap. Right now I'm 21 and I'm um, 13 overall in the postseason and 3-0 and in the World Series. Um, just to recap, in Game 1, we cashed in at under 6.5 runs. And we also uh, cashed in at the Indians plus 1.5. And, and the Indians won 6, and o- won six to nothing. Then in Game 2, we just did a half game bet at the 5 um, innings. At, through 5 innings, we did over 3.5 runs. And that won. So um, let's talk about game three tonight. Now, I know everyone is jumping on the Chicago Cubs tonight, and um, I understand why. I completely understand why. The Chicago Cubs are hosting their first World Series game since 1945. That atmosphere at Wrigley Field, I know, is going to be crazy, and the Cubs were so good at home this year. Average tickets are about 3000 bucks. last time I heard, and the Cubs are also sending Kyle Hendricks to the mound against uh, Josh Tomlin of the Indians. And Kyle Hendricks has been awesome at home this season during the regular season Hendricks was nine and two at home his ERA 1.32 doesn't get much better than that then in the postseason he's also been so clutch Um, one and one in three starts in the postseason with a 1.65 ERA Um, with his one loss was one to nothing to the Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers so um, Hendricks has been awesome now what I do like here I have two plays, but what I like here is um, let's take a look at the over-under. First, you have Kendricks on the mound, as good as he's been. I'm Hendricks. And um, nine out of ten of Cleveland's playoff games this season have gone under. And also you look at Josh Tomlin, and you think maybe the Cubs can get to him a little bit. But in Tomlin's last six starts, they've gone under as well. So you have nine out of ten of Cleveland's last playoff games have gone under. Actually, all ten out of the ten. Nine out of the ten have gone under. And then Josh Tomlin, his last six starts have gone under. Also, the Cubs this postseason, they're they're pretty evenly balanced with the over-under. They've had six games go under, five go over, and one push. But in Hendricks' last five starts, even going into the regular season, the under is 4-0-1. So four have gone under, none have gone over, and there's one push. Right now, I just saw the over-under actually jumped to 8.5. And, and on um, Captain, I just uh, put a play in to do the um, under 8. And now I'm seeing it at 8.5. So if you see 8, um, there's really good value there. Or 8.5, definitely jump on that. I like the under here. Under 8.5 runs or even um, under 8. And you can easily find that. Now, my second play, hate to jump on the bandwagon because I like to, to search for value. But I also like the Chicago Cubs money line, even if it's um, it's coming down a little bit. I think you can find it right now. It looks like at about um, negative 185. So I like the Chicago Cubs money line. And I also like under 8.5 runs. So under 8.5 runs and Chicago Cubs money line is my uh, picks for tonight. Go ahead and um, follow me at um, GetSportsStrong.com, also SportsWatchMonitor.com. Such a great site that will show you a lot of other uh, sports handicappers as well. But I'm GetSportsStrong on SportsWatchMonitor.com and BetSportsStrong with a B at Captain.com. Let's enjoy some baseball. Everybody have fun.